Big night of football coming up. The Melbourne victory making four changes to the 11 smashed in the derby, including the return of Robbie Cruz. It's game number 150 tonight for Bernie. Robbie Cruz with a burst of speed, able to ride through a challenge. Another little clip on his ankle. And Callum McManaman encouraged to shoot, plays in Cruz instead, who tees it up for Falami, who opens the scoring. A massive week for the Melbourne victory, and there is light at the end of the tunnel, and it's a first A-League goal for Ben Falami on loan from Ipswich Town. Really clever pass from McManaman to open the chance. The dink to the back post made it look a little dodgy for Ben Falami, but he held his nerve and he finished with a plomb and the victory in rare territory. Duke has shepherded his opponent off the ball. Oh, what a strike! Crossbar struck by Bernie Abini. A first-time effort that curled away from Acton. And unfortunately for the milestone man, not under that bar. Grimmer's delivery. Free header! Make it two! Storm Roo on target. The Wanderers' defence is shambolic right now. Where is the leader? They're asking the questions right now. Come the Wanderers. Little one-two. Come out. All the way across the face, and they pull one back. What a finish from the victory old boy, James Troisi, off the underside of the crossbar to make it 2-1. No one can actually put the pressure on the ball, and it's a really good hit from James Troisi. Ziegler has the assignment, and the volley from Falami. He's got a first half double. And the Wanderers defending corners picked off again. Beautiful delivery from Brimmer, who has another assist. And Ben Falami has a brace. Here's Falami getting the better of Gordon. Still Ben Falami. That's a penalty, maybe. Referee says yes. And will Ben Falami step up to the spot and hunt his hat trick? Jake Brimmer steps up to the spot and Margush keeps it out and keeps his team in the game. And flicked on, there's a tap-in coming up, so they waste the penalty, but they do not waste the corner. Flicked on to Dylan Ryan. Dylan Ryan arrives at the far post. Callum McManaman, really nice glance. This is a horror show for the Wanderers. And they're wiping the sleep out of their eyes, the Victory fans. Where's this been? 4-1. in the English Championship has been part of the inspiration tonight. We've got Alfie, Adam LaFondra on the way back. I haven't caught up on the news today. Charged down by the arm there and the penalty has been given. And Doran sends him the wrong way and it's back to 5-2 and there's 15 minutes to go and the Wanderers are second half specialists in scoring goals, who knows? Slip from Troisi, but found the target, and Mitch Duke pulls another one back. Still five minutes to go, plus stoppage time, and it's back to 5-3. Kept in by Troisi. Lifted down the line for Duke. Ricochet all the way through for Muller! 5-4! Still two minutes plus stoppage time to go. It's one of those crazy nights in the A-League. And it slices off the boot of Nikolai Muller and into the back of the net. From 5-1 to 5-4. Look at the curl on that from the German. 
They're hunting for an escape act of monumental proportions. Final seconds. Another slip from Butterfield. No damage done. All the way through. Kamal! Could have made it 5-5 and tapped the comeback. Could not keep it down. And surely we are done. But you'd reckon that'd see us out. Talk about being put through the ringer right throughout the season, these victory fans, and now throughout the last uh, 20 minutes or so, as they've seen the lead dwindle from 5-1 to 5-4. But they claim all three points and climb off the bottom of the ladder in a week that has seen the appointment of Tony Popovich. There's blue sky for the Melbourne victory, finally. Full time here at Marvel. Melbourne victory five, Western Sydney four.